I'm uh, Alan Higgins from Federal Resources. I've got Dave Brown with me here today. We're going to walk through taking an x-ray with the, uh, the Smart Ray Vision digital x-ray system. So we've got our components all turned on. Now what we're going to do is verify that our system is communicating properly. We hit the communication button here, which is uh, the two towers talking to one another. I've got my Smart Connect green, which is the onboard Wi-Fi system here on the tablet. It's in green saying we're good to go. It's talking to the trigger that's on the X-ray generator. And the panel is green saying I'm communicating with the X-rays panel. We're ready to take X-rays right now. So Dave is going to place the X-ray panel behind the target in question. So as you can see on the, uh, the X-ray generator itself, the X-ray generator should be set on 99 pulses. That way you have full control of the pulse count on the generator. So now that we're communicating appropriately, we're going to close that box. We're going to go to normal X-ray, go to generator control where we can select the number of pulses. And from this distance, Dave, do you want to talk real quick about uh, the old standbys as far as pulse counts for film. So the old SOPs out there would be, some people say four foot, 40 pulses, some people say six foot, 60 pulses. With these digital read panels, I'm not gonna say that goes out the window, but you don't need to stand by a strict SOP for that. These have the ability to capture a lot of imagery, a lot of energy from the, goal, or from the generators. So it could be two feet, it could be 10 feet, it could be 15 feet, different IEDs, different devices, different strokes for different folks. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm doing with my hands either. Like they're just, can we switch cameraman? I feel like he's sucking all the fun out of me. <laughs> so we've got the generator placed, we've got the panel placed. We're gonna select the number of pulses that we're gonna shoot and for this distance with an XRS3 generator, let's shoot, uh, We'll do 10 pulses. We're gonna arm it. When this box goes green, we are ready to fire. Right now it is saying we're ready to fire. We go ahead and hit that button. This going red means it did see X-ray energy. And we'll wait for the image to come up. While we're waiting for the image to come up, a little trick, so some of these X-ray generators have docking stations on the bottom of them that you get a lot of dead space on. If you're putting a jolt system on here underneath it or you're, you're using uh, some of the other systems that have a box underneath a control box or whatever, you're raising the center of that beam higher, which means you're going to miss more of the package, uh, the lower part of the package. All right, so here's our x-ray image that was obtained. These are a series of filters that you can uh, manipulate the image, get to a good starting point. The eyeball takes you to a closer look. When we're in this screen, all you need to do if you want to zoom in or zoom out on the, uh, the image, two fingers on the panel, moves the image, or zooms in and zooms out. If you want to control lightness, darkness, contrast, one finger on the screen adjusts up and down, controls your light dark, right and left con controls your contrast. All right, so we have our image. Next, in the next video, we're gonna show you how to calibrate this image uh, for export to another third-party image manipulation software such as XTK or so forth. <laughs>